Hey, 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 guys, it's Struggle Friends. It's your girl V. This is Willis. And we're back for another week. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. We're zooming it out again. This snowstorm took us by surprise. And quite right. frankly, it's cold as fuck outside. The wind is like 40 degrees. I mean, not wind, 40 miles per hour going. Like, I feel like it's about to blow my house away. Like, uh-huh. it's on some other shit right now. Like, it has an attitude. Um, but thank you guys for tuning in this week. We are excited. Um, looking forward to many things happening on the way throughout this year. Hopefully all positive vibes hopefully all year long but you never know this is the era of the rona and 0.1.2 variant 3.5 x whatever (laughs) yeah all i know is that mario i'm trying to stay away from him facts that part i want his cold heart where he used to be over where he used to be okay (laughs) right but anyway, if you've never tuned into one of our shows, we always start off with a shot. We always end off with a shot. Um, if either one of our phones go off with volume, we have to take a shot. Um, when we normally play drunk games in person, we would have to take a shot for the one who's the loser. But we're going to admit that because we're not in person and I don't know if he's cheating. So. so cheat out here in these streets. Yeah, 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 yeah. Black men don't cheat. Is that one of those? Thank you. Uh, the, uh, Thank you. I'm gonna get that tattooed on my arm. Black oh my here. god! Good day, sir. But anyway, with that being said, I got my shot pour. You got your shot pour? Yep. Let's do it. All right. Well, cheers, buddy. All right. Good job. Mm. Mm. You don't want to know what I'm drinking. You don't want to know what I'm drinking. <laughs> <We're both. laughs> Why did I do that to myself? I need some water. Facts. Anyway, so um, I have one update, um, kind of two updates. Um, one thing first, if you're in the DMV area effective, this past Saturday, the 15th, you are, it's mandatory that you have to show vaccination cards to any restaurant, bar, any establishment, and, and they are serious, okay? Yeah. They're not playing any games. I was actually out on Friday night like 11 something at night, you know, walking up and down U Street. If you know the DMV area, you know, that's a popular place. There's a lot of bars, hookah spots, um, food slice, I mean, pizza slice, food places. And I had a friend from out of town and we was trying to go in and I was like, yeah, I approve of vaccination cards. And I was like, approve of vaccination cards? What? It's like, yeah, uh, starting tomorrow, it's official. And I was like, dang, I said, I have it, but it's in my car. I keep it in my visor. Because uh, as long as we've been vaccinated, they've no one's ever asked me for proof. You know, I was like, damn, I feel like the person who got, you know, who turned 21, no one asked for your driver's license. You're like, damn, I want to show somebody, but right. I guess. And now you it. Right. right, right, right. So um, but my friend was not vaccinated. So with that uh, being said, I didn't want, you know, can't make her feel uncomfortable or anything like that. So we ended up going to an establishment. Said all that to say. It doesn't matter where you're going in DC now. You have to show it. So yeah, yeah, you gotta show go, a picture, right? Or you gotta show the card or picture, right? You have to show the card. They want to see the card. It's like oh, you're carrying it around card? like a, yes, you're carrying around like it's a, a um driver's license. Oh shit. yeah, literally the guy was like driver's license. So I say all that to say, make copies of it, laminate it, so that you can have copies with you at all times. I'm saying that. I like I like I I mean I have a homemade laminator like homemade laminator I have a laminator machine at home, and I'm going to make copies of mine and have like one copy in the <laughs> excuse me one copy in a car one in my pocketbook and probably one in the house. So if I have to like go if I'm riding with somebody else I don't have time to go to my car I just grab it out my house you know one of those type of things. So definitely make copies laminate it make sure you have it secured and. Um, that's all I can say for you guys because they not plan. You know, it always starts in DC mm-hmm. and then it trickles on down to the actual states of America. Right. <laughs> and you know, if it's mandatory, you know, that they're like, they're not playing. This these oh, armed right. security guards was like, ah, ah. No, right, right, right. That's crazy because I might have to go get mine. Cause I, you know, I kept buying a truck with my truck in the shop. But um, mm-hmm. I'm supposed to go to a wizard's game coming up on Sunday, and they emailed us and told us that we need proof. Yeah, and I thought a picture was okay, so I don't know. Nah, well, or if you got that picture, I I, I would suggest you you print it out. TSA took it when I went to Jamaica. They was like, "Oh, it's a picture, cool." But, yeah, you know, you know, everybody different, every different, everybody different. different. And yeah. like, even my friend, she had a picture of a card, you know, 
a picture of a car. <laughs> <Facts. laughs> um, but it was like, no, nah, we need actual proof. Cause some, you know, some people will be looking at the lot number. I seen some cards that don't got a lot number. Like, bro, how you gonna tell me you got a dope spot ain't no lot number? Like, we don't even know what's this lot one. And then you can't tell me this is lot just one. And he'd be like lot zero one oh three five or something right. like that. Like, bro, you were not the very first right. person to got you were not the very first person to got vaccinated in DC. <laughs> yeah, you paid somebody. At least it'll be zero 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 one. You just go one, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, just like a motherfucker. Did you hear about uh what happened in Quebec? No, what's that? So now in Quebec, you need uh proof of vaccination for just to get going to cannabis shops and liquor stores. Start January for what, and cannabis and cannabis shops to get yep. the weed. Yep, you can't buy weed or liquor while proof of vaccination in Quebec starting January eighteenth, which is tomorrow. Well, you know. Well, you know, I can actually understand the weed aspect, but not the alcohol. And they're on curfew. So they, and no one's allowed to be out besides, um, you know, emergency people uh, between 10 a.m. and 5 a.m. each day, starting the 18th, which is tomorrow. Damn. So when y'all hear this today. <laughs> right. Wow. I'm, I'm stuck like, wow. Because what's the curfew for? The, the rise in the uh, different um oh, okay. rise so they've had, they actually have problems outside so the oh, so the the it's curfew real bad in actually, yeah I said the curfew is actually a whole different issue from the whole vaccination situation mm-hmm. yeah okay and it's because, the Marion that's going wild over there oh really yeah so Man. that's what they added to the curfew I remember when it first started in the United States we did have a curfew at one point at mm-hmm. the beginning mm-hmm. I don't know if they're gonna bring that back but. Mm-mm. So unless you're an emergency yeah. responder and you're in Quebec, you can't be out between 10 p.m. and 5 p.m. They said the rise went up 3,000 cases in one day. God damn. Damn. God. I ain't going to Quebec. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> well, I don't know how big is Quebec. 3,000 might not be a lot. I mean, it's a lot, but, you know, if That's it's a, a big lot. city. No. Even yeah. if it is a big city, bro, three thousand cases is a lot. Yeah, like that's enough to get to get some um some turn some heads. You'd be like, yo, what the fuck? I mean, that's good. I think I, I, I don't mind the curfew part. The only part of the time it's gonna really suck is on the weekends. But um, yeah. But my thing look. that gets me is like I don't like when they say three thousand cases in one day because somebody could have been seeing symptoms six days ago and just decided to get tested today when somebody saw symptoms yesterday and then just came in today you know so it's like technically those numbers probably should have been recorded on different days because they all came in and got tested the same day it made it seem like this big influence influx that one day when technically it was an influx probably for the past seven days spread out but people were just lazy of coming in and honestly, we don't know how many of those are false positives, too, because now there's a rise in cases where people getting tested with false positives. Man, that too. It's, so. it's, it's, all, it's all many, so many things that's going on. But did you hear about California? And this is not just California. This happened in New Jersey as well, about how they're they issuing out the new guidance in hospitals that they're forcing people, employees who are COVID-19 positive um, to work even if they are asymptomatic. Huh? Yeah. So I'm gonna just um I'm gonna read this and then I'll just talk freely. It says the department is providing temporary flexibility to help hospitals and emergency services providers respond to an unprecedented surge and staffing shortages. Hospitals have to exhaust all other options before resorting to this temporary tool. Facilities and providers using this tool should have asymptomatic. Uh, asymptomatic COVID-19 positive workers interact only with COVID-19 positive patients to the extent possible. So it's like, if you have COVID-19 and you're instant, you're on detail for COVID-19 personnel, you're working that wing because gotcha. you have COVID too. So you're not going to be at home trying to get better mm. And, and you're not hurt, you're not sick, you're not showing any symptoms. You're not going to be home chilling on 14 days right. when we're short on staff um, and we need the help. And you can work around people who have the same illness as you, but they're just showing symptoms and they're dying. But yeah, so right. my girlfriend who was here this past weekend, she, she's um, studying to be a nurse and um, she's doing, you know, whatever 
um, I'm gonna say internship, but whatever hours and clinical hours she has to do to become one. And she said that her, her, um, the hospital she work in, they're making their nurses and doctors come in too, even if they're asymptomatic. If they have COVID-19, they're making them come in. Oh, hell no. See, people like, they, they, people started not to do shit. Yeah, because, I mean, well, if you think about it, in theory, if you got it and I got it, neither one of us can't give it back and forth to each other. We both got it right now. So I can work with you and help you get better. But what about the people that don't have it? You can spread it. But that's the thing. They're not putting people who don't have it. Oh, they're separating. They're separating. Oh, okay. Gotcha. gotcha, So it's like, hey, everyone who's wearing red goes to wing A. Oh, I got red too. Okay. Well, you're going to work only in wing A with the red people. Not a COVID niggas. Get over there. All the COVID niggas. Segregation. (laughs) <laughs> it's, it's very much giving me segregation it's very much giving me segregation right. but um that's what that's what i i learned this weekend and uh with, along with the story i was like oh these two coincide it's like yo what i'm not coming in yo i'll be very like cautious and be like hold on janet you were wearing a red shirt yesterday why you got a blue one on today let me see that uh, I, you know you cured and then that's my <laughs> all of a sudden and another, another thing, I don't think I never heard, like, so, you know, officially at first, we were supposed to quarantine for 14 days right. from everybody so you don't spread it. So it's not like, you know, immediately when you have COVID, you know what right. I'm saying? Unless you, someone told you, and that's the person you interacted that day. You right. know that you hung up with Janet on Wednesday, and that's when you got it. But if you don't know when you got it, you may have gotten it randomly on the subway or metro or whatever. Right. And you coming to work, bless you. Is that that Florona? Nah. <laughs> no, this is candle. It's shit. <laughs> like, it's the smell. Yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> no, I'm just messing. But, like, if you don't know when you got it or whatever, and you're coming and working in that wing A, you could be, mm-hmm. like, on your last two days. But can you get it again because you've been working in that wing? Are you constantly getting tested every day to see, oh, this is when it went away? Or does mm-hmm. it ever go away because you're constantly around COVID nineteen people? So I wonder like how does that so, back, how does that work? I wonder if um, and I gotta do my research. Like, say you're asymptomatic, right? Symptomatic, right? Mm-hmm. And you catch COVID and you're still good because you're asymptomatic. And then eventually, days or weeks go by, you get rid of it. Can you catch COVID again and not be asymptomatic, or you're gonna be asymptomatic each time? I have no idea. And there's no rules to this shit. If we ask CDC, they just going to say, if we go to CDC, they're just going to be like, put a jacket on and bundle up. Like, what? That's not what we ask. Four days, five days. Mm -hmm. I feel like now they're they're also like, yeah, quarantine five days, um, do 12 Hail Marys, uh, spin around three times. Drink a ginger ale, eat some crackers. (laughs) Right. Um, Campbell's chicken noodle, noodle soup, not prego. Pray to God, <laughs> Buddha, Allah, whoever you pray to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you should be fine. Right, what? right. What? Some, um, burn some sage. You know, you good. Yeah, get the, get all that bad energy out, and it's gonna burn the the COVID from the outside in. Facts. Like, what? Facts. <laughs> make it make sense. But yeah, I just wanted to um bring that to your attention at first about of course the DMV and their um their new stipulations for the city um of uh, well, for DC specifically and then about this whole thing with them making healthcare workers it's crazy because we 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 were behind the healthcare workers we cared about healthcare workers right. you know all this in the beginning and now it's to the point where it's like yo we'll give a fuck about y'all y'all gonna keep working to the bone right we need we need people it's a high demand it's, it's very, high demand. Really high demand right it's really, now. really high demand. Yeah. Um, right. You remember our story last week when we talked about, I think it was Swedish, and um, they went on a date and they got quarantine stuck together? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that. So Crazy. another case came up. This time it was China, and a woman was stuck on a blind date. Now, this one's kind of fucked up. All right. Okay. Listen. All right. Um, it was supposed to be a quick get to know you, but... Um, this lady went on a date, a Chinese woman, and identified by her surname as Wang, went to meet her blind date for a home-cooked dinner because he knows how to cook well. Mm-hmm. Um, as she's on the date, all of a sudden, an outbreak happened in the neighborhood that she was in with the blind date, and the authorities locked them in together. 
Force what? Yeah. What? Yep, forcefully locked them in there because all of a sudden the whole neighborhood was on lockdown. Unable to leave, Wang was stuck at her date's house for days. She posted videos of her unexpected co-living experience on social media, showing her date cooking meals for her, sweeping the floor, and working on his laptop. The video quickly well, went viral. Nice. Huh? So at least yeah. he seemed nice. Yeah, the video quickly went viral with Wang's encounter becoming the top trending topic on Weibo, China's Twitter-like platform. Okay. Um, Wang had returned to Zheng Hao from the southern country of Gang Ching, don't quote me on those names, recently ahead of the Lunar New Year and spent a week meeting potential suitors for her family. So her family set her up on this date. Okay. Okay, cool. During quarantine, she said, I feel that apart from being reticent, I don't know, like a wooden mannequin, everything else about him is pretty good. He cooks, cleans, house and works. Although his cooking isn't very good, He's still willing to spend time in the kitchen. I think he's great. I mean, her asking a wit in his kitchen to cook something. I mean, you go on a blind date. It's not his fault that you're, you're stuck there. You go on a blind date, and all of a sudden, because you know China different. They, you know, you about to leave the house, and all of a sudden you see a whole bunch of police outside, and sirens talking about get the fuck back in the house. She probably ain't had an extra set of clothes or nothing. Mm. I mean, she could wear his clothes probably, you know. But still, it was very unexpected. And she documented it on Twitter. Well, their version of Twitter. I didn't know China, China had their own version of Twitter. That's news I know. To me. So, news to me. Yeah. So this time, so the last time in Sweden, they chose to stay together. Right. This time, she was forced to. On a blind date set up by your family. How you feel? That's wild. Hell yeah. If I got guns posted, and then you gonna tell me I gotta come up, I, I come over your house because you 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 know you know how to cook well. And she said your house your food wasn't even that good. But at least you tried. I mean, I just I get it, but it's just like, I just feel like she was a little bit appreciative. If she didn't like the way he was cooking it, she could have took her ass in there and cooked it too. Exactly, that's true too. Um, I did feel some type of way with the whole. Um, not some type of way, but I feel like I would have did the same thing because she said that we spent most of the time cooking and cleaning. So I think he was trying to make her as comfortable as possible because right now we're in this fucked right. up situation. It is a fucked up situation. So I'm right. like, yo, you, sh- you should be a little bit more understanding. Yeah. So, um, yeah. I think I mean, she has a bad, like one of the worst blind date stories ever. <laughs> I don't even think that was worse. I just, it, it was just a bad outcome that wasn't him. Like if, if it was his fault, you know, I got to right. say, but she blamed the family if you really want to blame somebody because they're the one who's like, go on this one day, go over to his house. Granted, even if you blame the family, they how would they know they was going to shut down the neighborhood? Right. Like, and then I don't know the uh, restrictions in China. Like, who really, people still go to people's houses for blind dates now? No, never. Not here. Not me. No. <laughs> right. Like, your friend, I mean, I feel like that was the... That was like the scumbag move back in the day when guys were like, yeah, come over to my house and I'll cook for you. Yeah. That was Netflix and chill before Netflix and chill. <laughs> yeah, but even then, coming over to come was still like at least date three, two, or at least three. True. Who wasn't coming over on the first date? Come on. Like, that was getting me. First so, date. Yeah, on that, on top of that, bro. So <laughs> then you could be a whole creep. Not even just a whole creep. You could be like one of those obsessive types. Mm-hmm. One of those stalker types, right. one of those rapist types, and now you know where the fuck I live. Yeah, and now, um, well, I think, yeah. or or abusive seemed, types. He gets points for me. At least he seemed like a decent guy. He didn't try nothing. Everything went well. He was just trying yeah. to make her comfortable. I agree. Yeah. I agree. So I don't know because um this um I don't know if I mentioned this was part of a slew of blind dates her family set her up on. So they're trying to get her married off. Oh, so she's being the picky one. That's what I'm hearing. Right. But if that was the situation and, you know, say if I was in a situation where I'm trying to marry my daughter off and that happened and this guy was like, you know, he was like, you know, a gentleman about it. Right. He gets points for me. He gets points. Yeah, for me. he gets points for me, too. Yeah. He'll find somebody. What's crazy is by what, what they always say, well, one person doesn't appreciate, another one will. Right. And she made that man viral. <laughs> and, and and the views of everybody else, he was a really good man. He took care of her, trying to make her comfortable. He could, if you were the right woman, you could have had cute little private cooking lessons. 
you know, right. like, hey, try a little chili oil in this or a little sesame oil. And I ain't gonna try this, but like you cooked the other day, let me cook this time. Oh, yeah, time. yeah. She just was not, and that's probably why she's on 11, 10, 50, 11 think right now. <laughs> I mean, I, I, um, I think they said she was like uh, 30. So uh, mm-hmm. this is about that time. I don't so know. let's talk about, you were, you were talking about being understanding. This man was understanding to the situation, blah, blah, blah. So let's talk about this story, right? So um i don't know if you guys are familiar with the show fox a uh, fox souls cocktail queens um it had that's the show that has uh vivica fox and lisa ray and uh two other females i don't know the name off the top of my head sorry let me go back uh lisa ray vivica fox claudia jordan and selena johnson uh-huh. and um apparently if you haven't heard ari fletcher who's like a influencer and she's also dating money bag yo i think it's his name that's the um, one we talked about that uh she went to that farm country and that private jet had a whole bunch of like guns and like weed and shit we talked about it before on the show i think yeah we probably have yeah um but she, apparently she got the boot from rihanna concerning her savage ex fancy deal um if you don't know why it's because she made some dismissive comments towards domestic violence victims who shared their stories while disregard while disagreeing with her wanting a man to pull a gun on her to stop her from leaving. Her exact words were, we don't care, you're ugly. You don't have a man who wants to pull out a gun on you. Her words, exactly. Oh, so the show, Lisa Ray says, she's immature. Oh. Ray went on to thank Rihanna for not tarnishing her brand with foolishness and says, this is a prime example of the difference between a real celebrity and a social influencer. It's levels to this, she continues. I hope she apologizes. Um, someone else chimed in and said um, she doesn't even know why or how Ari became an influencer. She believes Ari made the comments on purpose to gain attention. Vivica, uh, Vivica Fox says um, this will have a domino effect on Ari's career. Once a big one drops, they all start to drop for you. So, so far, Ari hasn't really said anything. Um, I saw an update that she's like setting up a domestic violence type of support group now course after the backlash um but thinking about understanding right it's like bro there are certain topics that we all know Mm -hmm. like to all of our fellow podcasters that listen to us to all of our regular friends who listen to podcasts there are certain topics you can't touch but so much right without you know you tread in the line a little bit like for instance um uh, people with special needs you know mental disability um suicide uh, domestic violence and abuse, um, um, sexuality to extent, um, yeah. mental state, you know, uh, you know, depression, all identity. these are, huh? Identity. Identity. You know, these are certain topics that we can talk about. Right. We can debate on certain aspects, but we can't disregard people's point of view and their perspectives. You right. can agree to disagree. Mm-hmm. You can, you know, expand on both sides, but you can't come out and say, boom, boom, boom is right or wrong right. because all of these topics are fragile. Right. I said all that to say in this day and age where we know these topics are fragile, mm-hmm. <laughs> you then say, and I quote, uh, oh, we don't care. You guys are ugly. This is Ari's words. You don't have a man who wants to pull out a gun on you. Like that's how you want, you want your man to make you stay because you want to walk out on him you're done with this nigga and you want him to put a gun to you to make you stay that's your type of love that you want it's very much giving me a toxic 100 percent, 100 toxic right like i'm like what it goes so good. go ahead i'm just thinking back of like remember when that happened with drea she lost the bag with rihanna because mm-hmm. of her domestic violence situation yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not even a situation with her statements because she was on a podcast i think it was like a red cup podcast or something like that right and she was saying so i think she was talking about meg i think and she was like yeah y'all don't have a nigga that want to shoot you in the foot I, I wish i did have you know something like that like and she dropped rihanna dropped it without a job i there's no way and right. I, I can only speak this for right now there's no way i get famous and i don't have nobody censoring me to tell me what to say not to say because i don't want no bags lost right you said this person don't like cheese all right well let's talk about milk today (laughs) Um, we're going to be in the family of the dairy but we're not going to touch cheese 
You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm there's right. no way I'm fucking up a bag. Right. And I think people get really caught up in this in this rich shit in this influencer life and thinking that they could just say whatever fuck they want to say. And I get it. Some people do, and I love that about them. I.e., just hilarious. I.e., um, Wayne. A lot of influencers, right? But all of them have all gotten in trouble for some shit that they went a little too far. Right, said something they wasn't supposed they to say. They said something a little too far, where uh-huh. they had to now have to take the PR respective and be like, I now know this was insensitive. And da, 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 da. you know it was insensitive, you just thought it was funny. Even that, so I take, I look at it from like two standpoints. So one, this goes into like um, our culture as far as like uh, our representation, mm-hmm. especially in like movies and um, certain TV shows. Back in the day, now it's gotten a lot better, but back in the day, you know, you had movies like Baby Boy, where if he ain't cussing you out, ready to beat your ass, he don't really love you. You know what I'm saying? So they go from that. And then also a lot of these influencers, they have a whole bunch of yes people around them. Either that or they have a whole bunch of like-minded people around them. So when they say stuff in their friend group, it's funny. In their friend group, it's okay. But you put it out here to the masses, you put it you on your lives. Kept. You put it on your lives. Right. And you think that these people ain't screen recording your whole live. Yeah. And they do. And that's how a lot of these influencers get caught. Mm-hmm. They put an issue on their live. Don't think that all of these blogs ain't screen recording. Screen record everything. Screen recording everything. And then, of course, because they're screen recording the whole thing, they're clipping certain parts that they want to, you know, uh, rotate in, their, in, this, in the media room. And not even that. The time you realize you fucked up, it's already went viral. So there ain't no point That's in deleting part. it. You can delete you wake, it. Once how many times have you seen it? it? How right. many times have you seen it? I went to bed and I woke up this morning and I'm, I've got 25 missed calls and I've got a thousand DMs and da 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 But. Because you like, what? No, yeah. in a way. And I understand some things I personally believe. Certain things, I'm like, bro, y'all stretching it. Y'all stretching it a little bit, like, bro. Right. It wasn't that deep. Like, y'all a little sensitive on this one. But there are some that are blatant, like I said, blatant. You know, there are three major groups we don't mess with. We don't mess with the elderly. We don't mess with children. And we don't mess with people with special needs. Right. You know? And you mess with all th- any three of those, everybody's ready to come at your neck. Mm-hmm. Now, there's the sub ones, like domestic violence, like actual issues, right. you know, that people have. Like, that's, that's you know, all autism or... or, or um depression there are certain things that you tiptoe around you right. know you speak positively positively right. you don't go oh, i wish i had a nigga that that did um or oh, oh, shoot me my foot or oh, was sick in the head so they did it like no right that's not what no, no and you lost the bag no. right right and that's what i agree with vivica like you you you're missing that's that's the difference between a celebrity right and a social influencer because celebrities they have a prt they give them cue cards or key key topics to touch on cards or practice with them because they're the ones that's on Jay Fallon and on uh you know whatever late night shows and doing interviews on HBO stars. They're the ones that's getting the real back versus these influencers that are just on social media platforms that are like just going with the flow. Yeah. So I, I believe, and then of course the social media platform is what's helping you get those other bags, like the Fenty bag, mm-hmm. you know, the Louis Vuitton bag, the, the Fashion Nova bag, right? Jean, like all of these are bags that you know they they setting up the photo shoes, they setting this up so you can wear their shit to promote. You know, you messing up that bag. I wish I wish Fashion Nova would cut me a check for hundred k. Oh my god, right. see me. Man, what? Like, I love all clothes. I love all people. I love all religions. I love all sexes. I love all identities. I love all ages. Back. <laughs> Come on down the list. I love everybody. Don't keep me. I love everybody. I love everybody. Shoot, as much money as I spend in Fashion Nova, man. Let me be a spam ambassador. I got you. Because you know they got oh. Fashion Nova men's now, too. And they got, they all inclusive slides, sizes. You know, Rihanna killed it out here. And then think about it, Rihanna. Oh, you talking about, you talking about Savage, Fenty. Oh, this is a different. No, you just said Fashion Nova. Oh, my bad. Yeah, we haven't Savage. Yeah, you met Savage Fenty. But then think about it. Think about it. This girl just lost a bag. She could have been a whole poster. And in one of these opening stores we just talked about last week, one of these five new locations, she could have been a whole poster. Yeah. In one of their stores. But you know what's also sad? It's kind of like whether you're an influencer or like a big corporation, you say and do whatever until it affects your money. 
That's that when you're going to backtrack when it affects your money. If it didn't we, affect your money, she'll be still saying the same dumb shit. You get what I'm saying? So, yep. Yeah. But you know what? On the flip side of this, and I want to drag this topic out, it just tells me what she considers to be love. What she considers to be, you know, um, acceptable and how she's treated. And she's so submitted by money bag, yo. I'm like, so he put a gun on you? Yeah. He he he's put you and choked you up on the on the on a on a wall or something. Like this is very much giving me what's love got to do with it. Like right. it's very much giving me some abusive vibes, but you think it's okay, which I feel like that seems to even dip a deeper issue. Yeah. But we're not going there. <laughs> but anyway, go ahead. What you got? Um, are you ready to let's do the positive or are we done with topics or oh yeah, yeah, we can be done. Go ahead. All right, let's move into the positive thing of the week. Um, big correct congratulations goes out to my Maya Angela. Yeah, um, she's the first black woman on a US quarter. So um still waiting for my Harriet Tubman dub. You say Harriet Tubman, what? Dub. You know she's supposed to be on a oh, twenty dollar yeah, 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 dub. Yeah, 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 she was. I'm still waiting on my Harriet Tubman dub. I ain't gonna hold you. So, first of all, if y'all don't know who Maya Angelo is. Don't know where you've been at, but famous poet, famous civil rights activist. Everything. Like, was it still our ass? She has so many points. It's ridiculous. So many points. But so um, many she's done so much for Black people in the civil rights movement. Just look her up. Fascinating. I'm sure there's a documentary about her. Like, I'm, um, There's no way. There's no way. She's in the history books. And I don't mean Black History Month time. I mean history books, period. Yeah, yeah period. White be- yeah. Everybody know who Maya Angelou is, but if you don't, please look her up. Yes. Check out a couple of documentaries. She did so much for people. It's ridiculous. Yeah, and I ain't gonna hold you. Even though we in the in the uh the Omarion, I, I I want a quarter now. I want one. Remember back yeah. in the day they used to sell those member mem- uh, memorabilia quarters on TV. <laughs> like yeah. I wanna buy one. Yeah, I, I'll I give you ten dollars for a quarter. Like I want one of her quarters. I want one. I want one. You remember when they used to sell them? It'd be like the I don't know what they what they're called, but like the books, and you have to like fill the quarters in the yeah. books. My grandma used to have those. And then at the end, you could like take them to the bank and it ended up being like $10 or something by the end time you finished filling up the book or something like that. Yeah, you know, when, um, even when, um, I don't know how long ago it was, I might be showing my age, but when they start putting different states on quarters and everybody's trying to get all 50 yeah, states. All the states. I remember yeah. that. I remember yeah. that. Or um, they'll do the quarter, but um, you can get a special gold one for $19.99. Uh, yeah, I remember that. <laughs> I want one. I want one too. You know, it's crazy where I'm in a, I'm in the age of, you know, ordering online or buying online that I rarely even take out cash anymore. Mm-hmm. Um, I even tip online. I mean, like on, on, on the card now. Yeah. So I, I randomly took out like $50 like a week ago or something. And I just wanted some cash for the weekend. Cause I knew my girlfriend was coming in and I got change back, like literally, you know, $2 and like 76 cents. And I'm looking at, I was like, damn, these are some fresh ass quarters. I haven't seen quarters Facts. in a long time. And I don't mean like, like, I was so sound like, oh, like, because I, I haven't dealt with cash. Because remember during Corona, people didn't want to handle cash. Right. Card right. only, card only, you know. So like to actually look at this change, I'm like, bro, wow, this is a new quarter. This one says 2021. They were still producing money. Facts. You know, but anyway, I just want to put that out there. It was just really random. I'm looking at change. Like, bro, it's been a while since I've handled cash. So uh, anyway, so you said you had the right crazy thing of the week? Yep. Um, crazy thing of the week. Here we go. Here we so, go. So you gotta hear the story out. Cause it's not the whole story is not necessarily crazy, but a certain part of the story is crazy to me. I'm listening. I'm gonna stop for my okay. shot. University of Maryland basketball coach, basketball coach, um, was suspended because he got busted trying to buy a prostitute. Okay. This is not the crazy part. Here we go. <clears throat> so allegedly, uh, um, University of Maryland basketball coach, uh, assistant coach, Bruce Shinger, was hit with a 30-day suspension. Suspension. The school announced Wednesday night following the October arrest on charges of soliciting a prostitute. Now, According to the Baltimore Sun, Shinger, who's 40, responded to a website advertisement for women seeking men, which posted by an undercover Prince George's County police detective. So it was a setup from the beginning. So back on October 4th, the detective posted an ad, received a text from Shingler. Documents state that eventually he told the coach to contact her when he arrived at a Holiday Inn in Largo. This is getting too close to home. <laughs> so... 
According to the documents, he agreed to pay her $80 mm. for sex. For what? $80. For sex? In exchange for sex. Okay. That's the crazy. $80. All right, let me keep going. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so he's scheduled for trial coming up February 28th, so it's about a month or so from now. Um, he is out. Um, he has only found $500. Um, which interesting is he was just in the paper for his praises and the work that he's done with the basketball team and his wife was praising him too. Damn, you call me at the wife. Yeah, it, it called me at $80. <laughs> That's where it got me at eight. Where are you finding prostitutes for $80 at, bro? If it's $80, I don't want it. I feel like it comes with diseases. $80? I might say, I swore it used to be, or maybe, I don't know. Maybe I watch too much TV. It'd be like $100 an hour. All right. I feel like if you would say four, five hundred or a stack, all right, maybe $80. Those are prices you find on the street, not at some advertisement. And then you want me to meet you at the Holiday Inn in Largo. It sounds... It sounds like you're getting diseases and bed bugs. I'm good. It sounds like a setup. Yeah. And it most like, definitely do. I mean, I don't know what the price of pussy is these days, but I, I would assume it's more than $80. I mean, <laughs> I if you assume. think about it, it's the cheaper option. When we talked about last week, like some men be paying on pussy. Yeah, putting payments on it. Yeah. Putting payments on it. They're like, yo, I'm not doing a payment. I'm doing one time <laughs> transaction. Here's another thing. That, and then, you know, Largo's not really sketchy. No, it's not. It doesn't give me $80 vibes. Now it doesn't. The, now the Red Roof Inn and in Laurel? Mm, okay, I can see $58. What's wrong? Red Roof Inn, wrong. period. Huh? That's a nice hotel. The hotel room was probably more than $80. So, like, what the fuck? I, right. The hotel room was probably more than $80. So that all screams set up to me. Right. So... <laughs> Um, we'll see what happens. We'll keep you guys post posted. He goes to court February 28th. He might get away with a fine or whatever. He's still wor- so the school suspended him, they didn't fire him. So I mean, maybe- because he at least it was consensual, is what an adult. So yeah. you're gonna fi- fire him from paying for sex. I feel like that's a little extra. I mean, technically it technically is illegal. Technically, it's illegal. You fire your ass for being cheap. <laughs> what eighty dollars, bro? Oh, but here's the thing. I, which, you know, we talk about it all the time. There's bitches out here giving sex for free. Big big facts, big facts, big facts. Especially these COVID times, bro. Like, people lonely. It's just, I don't you know. Have to put that, I guess he didn't want to do the whole getting to know you part to get it, but. Yeah, you're married too, which makes it worse. So, who knows what he got going on at home now? Oh. <laughs> oh, no. What he got going on, he ain't got nothing. He ain't got a home. He about to be at that red roof in by himself. Kicked out what you mean. Right. The Holiday Inn in Largo. That's, it's kind of a nice hotel. I ain't gonna hold you. But, I don't know. So, that was the crazy thing of the week. Um, $80. We'll see what happens February 28, bro. I hope you got some good lawyers. You, uh, you, facts. you, may, you may, might need a divorce lawyer and a criminal lawyer. <laughs> like, That's the part. But he's gonna get, he gonna get off light work because he's, like I said, he has a good rapport. Um, just got praised. Community getting back to community, blase, blase, blase. Right. So he has no. There's no reason for them to go hard and paint on him for his first offense. Yeah, uh, legally. But legally. Might, yeah, yeah, yeah. He might now. Now divorce court. Oh, it's a done deal. <laughs> it's a done deal. Hey man, you're already famous. Deal. You might as well go on. Um, what's the name? Judge Maybelline. <laughs> One of the actual shows, yo. Let her take care of it. Bye. Right. Uh, Steve Harvey, a judge now. This is a show he got. What is show? What's the lady that's married to uh, Kenny Lattimore? Uh, uh, divorce. I know who you're talking about. I see her face. I don't yeah, know yeah, 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 yeah. One of them. You done, bro. Either way. Either way, he's done. For me, and then um, on other news, if you're in Pierce, Georgia County, they setting y'all niggas up. <laughs> Big time. Pussy for $80 online. Period. Nah. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> Thinking about other husbands that may uh, feel some type of way or marriages that may 
result in their partner feeling some type of way. Mm -hmm. So there was a question that was a mention and it was a little bit of a debate online. And here's the scenario. Gotcha. This is my, our question of the week, just in case you weren't um, aware. Um, husbands, I'm asking for a friend, AKA I'm asking for myself. <laughs> yeah. um, if your wife goes grocery shopping and as she gets to the counter to sort the bill, a fine fellow offers, offers to pay her bill. Should she politely decline or allow this stranger to help with the bill? How do we feel about this? And I'm with her? No, you're not there. She's she's there grocery shopping by herself. Oh, and another he said to pay for it? Yeah, another guy behind decides to pay for the groceries for your household. Well, granted, he don't know it's a household because he's just, you know, he sees a fine woman and he's like, I I'll pay for it. It's It's on me. Um, it depends on the after results. Like if she like if he did that and like he gave her a number or booked her, no. Nah. But if it's just like, oh, she should decline. Never mind, I take it back. Cause that <laughs> leaves like an open door for me to shoot my shot if I pay for your groceries. So I feel like if we're not destitute or we don't nearly need your money or anything like that, like, nah, she should she should just decline it, decline it, because that just leads too many open doors. I agree. But I also feel like I agree, but to a certain extent, I think if you it's, a, it's about your partner, like, for instance, my partner, mm -hmm. my partner is the type um, that if I'm going out to drink, he's like, yeah, girl, you look good. All right. Make sure you get them free drinks. You know, <laughs> Facts. he's one of those that like, but, you know, let them get you all liquored up so you can come home to me and I, I reap the benefits of it. Right. That's the type of guy he is. Not like, you know, oh, not like, you know, I don't want to be like, oh, he's slutting you out. No, no. He's like, oh, I know how girls are. Right. Y'all gonna look good at the bar. And a guy gonna want to offer you a drink. Get right. your drinks. Get 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 loose and get tipsy, whatever. Be respectful. And then bring your ass home to me. So I have a feeling, which I'm probably gonna ask him this scenario after we're done recording. Right. I have a I'm like 80% sure that he's gonna be like groceries all right yeah girl what you doing get, get us some groceries girl i'm ready to eat like, I, I can hear him like literally be like yo let that man pay for that groceries and Facts. then you come home to daddy and cook dinner <laughs> we got some free groceries for we them. got some free groceries we didn't save 300 this month big facts you know what i'm saying so that's why i said it all depends on who your partner is that's why i say i i for a regular scenario, like I know niggas are territorial and they're prideful and they're like, no, 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 no. You got a man, the man she, if you want to help for the girl, I'll, I'll pay for it. Da, da, da. But then right. again, if you know your partner, he'll be like, man, shoot. You don't fuck about none of that shit. Yeah, like, you don't right. fuck about that. We can, what you cooking for us, bae? You know, this food tastes yeah. even better. You know why it tastes better? Because it's free. <laughs> <laughs> I, that's exactly how my boy It always tastes better. It's a free always takes better. We got a full refrigerator off of another man's dime. Look at God. Like I can hear it, you know. Yeah. You know, there's a will, there's a way. Like, you know, it just depends on who your partner is. If you know your partner is that authoritative, I'm the head of the household, I make decisions type of da 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 da. Right. Not gonna say insecure because it has nothing so much to do with insecurity, unless that's their own man insecurities of being the provider and da da da. But it's all about your partner so i think it's a 50 50 on that yeah I, I, for me i would probably do it depending on how much it is facts i would let him play anything over 100 i'd be like no nah. but if it was under 100 go ahead sir right especially it I'm depends like, on the guy too like you know you know the old school pimp daddies they don't give a shit they're like yeah, yeah got you. i got you baby girl you know what yeah. what I'm saying? Got you. Like, like, i don't a, care you got a man i just wanted to just wanted to brighten up your day Put a smile on your face, you know. Okay. But if it's a young cat that I know, I know, and you looking at me, looking at me, how I know how you looking at me. Oh mm. no, it's a no. Facts. If it's genius, because you gonna tiny, really want my number, you gonna want to follow me to my car, put want to upload it into my trunk, exchange uh -huh. numbers. Nah, that's too much. Let me get your social media. You know what I'm saying? Your man don't let you have friends. <laughs> like dumb shit. Back. So I just wanted to bring this up to see how you know our audience feels like would you allow um well to our men would you allow your woman to engage with that and let him pay for her groceries how would you feel about this 
All right, we can put it online. See what they. I'm gonna put it on. I'm gonna put this as our snippet. See right. how everybody feels. Cool, cool, cool. So, so I think that's then episode eighteen, season three. Episode eighteen. Do you have a new show that you want to recommend? Oh, I forgot about show. Shit. All right, hold on. Why you I got like doing three of them. <laughs> oh man, you want to go or you got yours up? Yeah, I'm about to pull it up right now because I've been. Um, for the record. I don't know if anybody noticed on the Netflix. Oh, while I'm looking at Netflix, y'all, Netflix is going up again. They going oh, yeah, up again. They going up again. Oh my freaking gosh, going up again. Um, Et- Eternals are officially is officially on Disney Plus. Watched it the other day. Watched it the other day. I feel like it was long as fuck for no reason. Um, Facts. Really, it was really good. Long for no reason, but it was okay. It was okay. Um, also, Encanto is on that on Disney Plus as well for the kids. It's a really good kids movie just putting that out there if you haven't watched it yet you should um and there was one more thing i, I wanted to talk about i got mine ready okay go ahead i'm gonna find where so mine is an anime i don't know if i sent this to you already if not i'm gonna send it to you it's called vivi fluorite ass song no we need to send that shit to me now. all Let's right so of course you know me i like fighting when people getting fucked up okay. so Vivi is this android from the past. Mm. And somebody from the future sends another android to get her to stop all these events that's going to collide with humans and androids, where okay. androids are going to start killing humans. Okay. Everything's post apocalyptic. But it goes mm-hmm. from like the scientist that sends this other AI to talk to Vivi and we're like, we got to stop these things where androids and humans can clash for in the future where they won't kill each other so it could be like one of the situation was um like when the androids took over a a space station because and now it's in the future so there's like a space station where people can go there as like a vacation but the androids took over the space station and like crashed into the earth so the other ai from the future went back and was like vivi we gotta stop this from happening so Vivi goes up there da 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 it's like a whole bunch of little occurrences and crazy fight scenes, crazy action scenes. Like the ending's gonna fuck you up. Okay. Yeah, it's good. I'm gonna send it to you. Um, we binged it in one day. Um, let me look right now. Right now it's on. Oh, there we go. I was like, where is it? Okay, go ahead. Um, right now, if you guys want to watch in English, um, it's on Funimation right now. Um, okay. 14 episodes, about 25 minutes an episode. Um, they do have it on Crunchyroll too, but it's in um, d- uh, dub. So you can watch it on English and Funimation, Crunchyroll, dub, whatever. Cool. Gotcha. Great. Yeah, make sure you send Good. it to me. All right. I'm about to send it now. Go ahead. All right. So these are my shows, the two shows I want to recommend. Um, the Cleaning Lady. Um, if you have Hulu, you can watch it. Um, it's I heard about. about it. Yeah. Cleaning Lady is good. I'm, I'm hooked in. The first episode had me hooked in. Obviously, it's um, um, I think she's from Ecuador or Salvador. Um, anyway, she's over here illegally, and she's doing like jobs, not under the scale, but you know, under the table, whatever. Mm-hmm. And um, visiting her sister who's been here fifteen years illegally, and um, doing a late night job. Sees a sees a gangster um, basically shoot somebody. Mm-hmm. She's like not not trying to be seen she ends up being seen and she was like listen i'll clean it and make it seem like there was no blood here no nothing happened like this all happens within like the first 10 minutes and he was like okay so she cleaned it let him go he let her go and basically long story short he they worked out a situation um that she's the permanent cleaning lady for when shit happens when parties happen when murders happen shit like that and not knowing that FBI is on his trail. So gotcha. it, it, it's really good. Like it's only two episodes right now. So I would definitely tell you to, to look into it on Hulu. Um, and the last one is a little bit more. Oh, no. Before you do that one, is that the one where um, like uh, her son is sick or whatever? And yeah. he's paying? Okay, gotcha. All right, gotcha. And that's why she's staying because he pays yeah. her cash. Gotcha. And, and, those, and he also hooked her up with a doctor. Oh, to yeah. help her son? To help that's her son. fucked up when they do that. That's <laughs> fucked up. That's all. Like, oh, she got. You'll do whatever you got to do to take care of your kids, man. Right, you got you by the balls, girl. Um, I got. I then, put that on my list. I'm gonna definitely watch it. Yeah. Yeah, it's on Hulu. It's only two episodes right now, and I'm telling you, it's good. It's got enough action. It got enough 
you know, like sexual scenes, well, not sexual scenes, but enough scenes where it's like in, interactive and, and, and intriguing. Um, okay. The next one I haven't started yet, but um, Woman of the Movement is also on Hulu. It's basically about Emmett Till and Emmett Till's mother. How all that went, all that. So definitely watch it. I can't give you too much details, but we obviously know the real details. Yeah. So, so they made a show out of it um, um, about her trying to get justice and the speeches and all that. So I'm going to probably be tuning into that tonight at, while I'm cooking dinner. So, so I think we talked about it before. So I have a friend that watched it, watched it and she was pissed. But oh, that's going to piss you off. Yeah. You, and off. you know, I really don't like watching movies like that because it's going to make me piss. But well, it's a show. So yeah, yeah, shows like that. <laughs> it's going to make me piss. But to actually hear the gory details of what happened and why it happened, I don't know if I can take that. Well, I got to be in a certain type can't. of mood to watch that. Yeah, a lot of people can't. A lot of people can't. I'm not going to lie to you. A lot of people can't. And that's fine. I'm just giving it opportunities for our listeners. <laughs> Everybody get a little bit of culture and a little history of yeah. what happened and how things were not right. And this just happened, what, 40 years ago? 30, yeah. 30 years ago? Yeah. yeah not true. too long ago. Also, real quick, like, so yeah. honorable mention. Um, I mentioned it before. If you haven't, um, if you don't know who Quentin Bur- Quinta Burton is, um, that's that girl that went viral on, on like TikTok or what was the other viral thing? Van was like, oh, he mm-hmm. had money. That girl. Oh, yeah. Abbott Elementary. Abbott Elementary. Abbott Elementary. Great, great freaking show. Um, yes, we watch it every week. Oh, yeah, I do? Yeah, mm-hmm. it's, it's freaking hilarious. So I'm glad, I'm glad and happy for her. And then um, do you know who Nicole Byer is? No, you drop dropping names. I don't know people's names. Okay, if you Google her, I'll send you a show. She has a show, too, that just came out, too, called The Grand Crew. And Oh, yeah, I've seen it. It's been showing up on Hulu. Yeah, yeah, it's real good. So y'all should watch oh, that, too. Two black women, you know, killing it in sitcom. Like, Got it. I ain't mad at it, though. I love it. I, I ain't mad it. at it either. I want to see more. <laughs> All right, well, so, why don't you go ahead and tell them where we can find us? You know what? I was going to bite that bullet and tell them to. No, but, that's uh, good idea. You can go ahead and bite Stop. <laughs> um, you can find us on iTunes, Spotify, Alexa, mm-hmm. Alexa, tune in, Amazon Music, Pandora. Um, uh, uh, what did we post this at? Podbean, <laughs> um, Google Play. We're everywhere you can imagine, especially on YouTube. Like YouTube. and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Um, at Drunk with Friends with a Z at the end. Also, if you want to come on the show, DM us, holla at us. Um, you can DM us on Facebook or Instagram at Drunk with Friends um, with mm-hmm. a Z at the end. Also, you can email us at DWFriends with a Z at the end um, at gmail.com if you want to network, do some things. We have some things coming up in February. Um, if you listen to like a couple of weeks ago, we, we're doing collaborations with different podcasts. We're networking, <laughs> doing big things, trying, trying to turn up 2022. And um, Yes, we are. Yeah, facts. And gang, and we just trying to do new shout things. out to another black podcast for having us on our show on their show last back. week. If you haven't tuned into that, I know it was a long episode, but I promise you guys, you're going to be laughing. It's worth it, it was so much fun, so much fun. So, shout out to Supi and Dolo. Um, definitely tune into that. Another black podcast featuring Drunk with Friends. It mm-hmm. just dropped today's Monday, so it dropped, I believe, Wednesday of last week. So, definitely tune into that as well. Yeah, and um, yeah, that's, that's it, it, guys. Last shots, yeah, last shots. Mm, oh, god, that's another one. Yeah, cheers, cheers. <laughs> Y'all have a good week. Mm-hmm. Happy MLK like- Day. I know, right. <laughs>